So now in this video we're going to take another look at the 555 timer LED flasher circuit. It is being controlled though by a light dependent resistor. And I'm going to turn the light up. You can see that it flashes faster. Turn the light down and it goes slower. We can get it to where it's probably going to take uh, almost forever to uh, flash. So now to begin with, we're going to take a look at the load. I use this circuitry a lot, so we're going to kind of rush through it. But we have a 1000 ohm resistor to the blue LED, long lead the anode, short lead the cathode. There you can see there, positive supply, 1000 ohm resistor, long lead the anode, short lead the cathode. Coming to the output to pin number three right there, red resistor, anode, a cathode, 220 ohm resistor. There you can see anode, cathode, 220 ohm resistor. The way this works, when the output is low, then the current will flow through the blue LED and it does that pretty well. When the output is high connected to uh, 5 volts but it does lose about a volt and a half then the red LED will light up. As I said before that's common with these circuits uh, if you're going to flash LEDs so we're not going to go into great detail on that. We have to power the 555 timer pin number 8 there to the positive supply and pin number 1 to ground right there. We have a uh, white jumper there to connect pin 3 across over there to uh, keep things from getting cluttered. Pin 4 is the reset pin. We don't want it to reset. It will reset if we give it a low uh, signal. So we just give it a full 5 volts there. That prevents it from resetting. And now we're going to get to the timing part of the circuit. We have a 1000 ohm resistor that we're going to connect to the positive supply right there that's going to pin 7 which doesn't do anything to begin with when we apply a power we have the light dependent resistor there we're going to connect in series so this light dependent resistor I'm pretty sure I got from just a random kit before I bought a light dependent resistor kit which has different values for light dependent resistors at a given light but I think this is the one that's included in uh, kits generally so this value resistor should work you may have to adjust that resistor if you have a light dependent resistor with a different resistance value. So this is a 100 microfarad capacitor. We can do up to 50 volts. We're only using 5 volts for this circuit. And that goes to the negative supply. So when it's uh, polarized, that side has to be more negative right there. So when we first apply power, it's going to uh, charge through this resistance. So the uh, less light, the more resistance, the longer it takes to charge. Pin number 6. Uh, jumps into action when it gets to two-thirds of the supply voltage and then it discharges through pin 7. That's how that works. Now it discharges till pin 2. So we have to add a jumper here from uh, 6 to 2 until pin 2 notices that it dropped down to one-third of the supply voltage. And uh, when it drops down to one-third of the supply voltage, so it's discharging through that resistor, so the resistance determines how fast it discharges. But once it gets to one third of the supply voltage, then pin seven stops uh, connecting to ground. And while it's connected to ground to any current going through 1K will uh, go to ground. So it won't affect the uh, discharging timing. It actually takes longer to uh, charge than discharge, but not by a whole ton because that's 1000 ohms. And usually light dependent resistors are well above 1000. But in uh, any case, we got the uh, charge up to two thirds supply voltage and then discharge down to one third. Just keeps alternating back and forth like that. Let us uh, zoom back. Like I said before, we have the uh, power supply here set to uh, five volts. It's snagging on stuff. And uh, hopefully it didn't uh, do something where we won't get power. But in uh, any case, there you can see. Now we have the uh, light dependent resistor going. Turn the lamp up, it goes faster. I can either uh, cover it or Turn the lamp down and it goes slower. So, in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.